So guys, for the first step, you wanna go to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the next step, you wanna go to search and type in change the date and time. Click on it. And now once you're on this, make sure that your time zone is correct. Make sure that you have set time automatically turned on. Now you want to scroll down and then click on sync now. Make sure that your date and time is fully synced up. For the next step, there's going to be three links down below in the description for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I've got the NVIDIA app. And now once you're on our graphics card software, you want to go to the driver tab. And now you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for your software. For the next step, you want to verify your game files. So if you're playing Black Ops 7 on Steam, then you want to find Black Ops 7, you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then click on installed files. Now you want to select verify integrity of game files. You want to verify your Black Ops 7 game files. If you're using battle.net, this is how you verify your game files. You want to find BO7 and then click on the gear icon and then click on scan and repair. If you're playing Black Ops 7 on the Xbox app, you want to find Black Ops 7 and then click on the three dots and then click on manage. Now you want to click on files and then click on verify and repair. Once you verify your game files, you can now launch BO7 and then the problem should be fixed. If they're still not working, then you want to uninstall Black Ops 7 and then reinstall it again. Hopefully this will not fix your problem. 